Hello everyone, I'm Avenger Green and I'm back with our continuing coverage of Wesley Dodds the Sandman with issue 2. And you can already see we're in for a good time just the, just by looking at the cover alone. Just look at this haunting beauty. We got close with the Sandman's face where you can tell the horror he's feeling just by seeing his one lone eye. I uh you see the reflection of his burning estate and in the other eye and the smoke going up from the reflection towards the logo and it's just Mwah! This right here is why I love comic book art, my friends. So, continuing from issue one, Wesley is dealing with the aftermath of his state being set on fire by a mysterious robber. The fire department found a charred corpse that had money and jewels in their pocket, leading them to assume that the fire was a botched attempt to cover their tracks that quite literally backfired on them. But Wesley is quick to notice... Notice that not only is his journal that contained all of his failed and rather horrific sleeping gas experiments been stolen, but also one of his gas masks and a few of his gas guns. And yeah, after getting some downtime with some of his friends and the supporting cast, Wesley ends up having, having another prophetic nightmare. And again, my kudos to the creative team. Yeah, because this is my favorite page of this issue. The combination of Wesley's well-written prose and prose combined with the raw visceral artwork work of the, the people the soldiers literally melting because of the gas and obviously this is a call back to the nightmares Wesley's father had about his World War I experience and the silent yet intimidating version of the evil Sandman and comes together to make a page that feels less like it's out of a superhero comic and more like it's something out of Bloodborne this lone page sums up Wesley's motiv motivation and fear for this whole miniseries I know his identity before he's even revealed. I know he is me. You know, considering I think that I reviewed this book and the first issue of Geiger Ground Zero yesterday, hey, I could have called this weekend the Horrors of War duology. Anyway, after waking up from, well, that nightmare, Wesley ends up going out as a Sandman and doing some investigating. He ends up figuring out the name of the dead burglar. Burglar 1, Igor. Or Krulig, or Klug, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. An expert safe cracker. Hacker, and obviously, he's the guy who, and he was also the, oh, the corpse that they found at Wesley's estate. To get some more information, Wesley decides to go after, or some of Igor's, or his criminal associates. Naturally, a well-paced and well-laid out, out fight scene breaks out, and it's a bit more difficult for the Sandman, because it's quickly revealed that these guys are hopped up up on amphetamines, so the sleeping gas is ineffective on them. But drugged out of their mind or no, oh, there's still a bunch of punks going after the Sandman. And yeah, while Wesley is dedicated to non-lethal combat, that he is still pretty terrifying. However, the ish, the whole exercise turns out to be a dead end. Uh, quite literally, as one idiot, he ends up running into trapping and getting hit by a car. So. Unfortunately for our hero, and probably many others, there's the true mastermind is still out there. A dark reflection of the Sandman, and who's no doubt ready to make, make Wesley's nightmares a reality. So, that was Wesley Dodds, The Sandman Issue 2. This book continues to impress and is yet another example of Robert Vendetti being one of the most underrated writing talents in modern comics. Combine the writing with how moody and disturbing the artwork from Rosmo oh, plus the, a plus the Nia, I can get at times. And this book really works well as both a suspenseful horror comic as well as a dark superhero book. If you're a fan of the Sandman and you're not picking this up, you are doing yourself a major disservice. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button so you always know when I upload a new, new video or when I cover the next issue. Until next time, have a great day.